My wife had dementia. What it taught me was how hard it is to care for a loved one who isn't quite there and sometimes just isn't there and at last is no longer there. The challenges of being a caregiver are twofold. One, how do you give proper care for the person? And how do you get that balance right? And I think thirdly, of course, how do you get your life in balance? I went into the kitchen, I came back and she looked at me very strangely. If you weren't John Rhys Davis, who would you be? And I said, well, I am John Rhys Davis. I'm your husband. You know, I, I, I thought I'd, I'd walked into a stranger's house and they were going to be so angry with me. I said, well, you see, Susie, you've got this illness called Alzheimer's and you're beginning to forget things. And soon you will forget that we have two sons, Ben and Tom, and you'll forget their names, and then you'll forget my name, and you'll probably forget me. And she said, oh, that's terrible. I said, yes, but it's bad in one way, Susie, but just understand this. We won't forget you, and we will always love you and always take care of you. And this little wizened old woman. Came up and put her arms round me. And she said, I did jolly well marrying you, didn't I? Yes. There are rewards in caring. It's a worthy cause, and just to thank and isolate with attention these key people in our society that, that care for the sick, the disabled, and often the disenfranchised. That's, uh, that's worthy of note and worthy to be part of.